how to speed up your VPN with this simple trick. Um, I wanted to show you guys something really nice. Uh, I've done something similar like this before and I wanted to do an updated video. Um, so wanted to get, wanted to just give you guys some great information here. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's just come here to Analyti and we are going to run a speed test. Now I do pay for a hundred megabytes of download speeds. So we're going to run this here and see real quick, how can we speed this up? So you can see I'm getting about 65 of download speeds and I don't really care about my upload speeds. And we're going to come here to... Um, IP vanish not change any settings. I want to show you guys exactly what this is doing when we are not doing anything and here we go We're starting to pull data in and we're gonna hit that home button and we're gonna run that speed test again now um, With IP vanish they've actually have updated their servers and they're doing it where you don't have to do too much and check this out I pay for a hundred and with it turned off. I was at 64 now I'm at 100. That's that's pretty damn good. Now, here's a couple extra tricks. If you're just like, how are you getting these settings? So I'm going to go ahead and my face right here has been covering the disconnect and connect. So um, that way you guys know what it is that I'm, I'm connecting to. So here, here's a couple things. This is a trial and error. So the first thing you should do is when you go to protocol, um, by default, it's the UDP. Try the TCP. Try the TCP and see if that works. So I'm just going to do that one by itself and I'm going to connect myself back in and just give it a few seconds. There we go. I'm, I'm already connected. Hit that home button and we're going to try that speed test again. Now with that little trick, check it out. I just went from one to the next and I'm getting uh, just a little bit more of download speeds. With it turned off, I was at 65, but... There you go. Some some great stuff there. So again, I'm going to back out of here. Now, here's another trick that people really don't talk about. So again, I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to go to the settings on the top right and I'm going to come down to port. Now with port by default, it's 443. You might want to test out 1194 or 8443. So I'm going to do 1190. Uh, it was 1194. 1194. I'm going to do that. I'm going to back out and then I'm going to reconnect here. So connecting, give it a few seconds, let that wheel spin. And now it's going to start pulling in the data. I'm going to hit that home button, come down here to Analyti again. And let's see if I'm getting more speeds. And it seems like it doesn't like this one. It's still higher than the 65 that I was getting, but it wasn't as good as the 115. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. Go back to IP Vanish. This is what I'm saying. It could be um, a little trial and error. So go back to that little gear icon. Come down to port and let's try 8443. I've noticed a lot of people saying they, they're they getting pretty good results and I don't think I connected to it. So let me go ahead and connect it now. So 8443, um, it, it, it could be a really, really good one. The reason why you want to switch to the different ones is because sometimes your 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 ISP is going to throttle you a little bit. So that's how you could, you know, tr tr try different ports and see which one works the best. Now, remember, I was getting what, 115 within the the other one, the first one, the default 8443. I'm at 121 and I'm paying. Remember, I am paying for 100. Now, the very last tip that I will give you guys, I'm disconnect it one more time. Um, you could you could do city best available and server best available. Um, one of the things for servers that I like to do is, um, so, so for me, I'm really close to LA, so I'm going to go city and I'm just going to look for, for Los Angeles. So it's already picking LA best server. And there you go. I, I like to pick on some that have the least milliseconds. So 13, there's a couple 14s right there. A couple 14s again. Now remember, here's a 10. Just because it says 10 being the lowest, doesn't mean it might be the best. So we're going to try this one. This one was at, at 10 milliseconds on the ping and there it goes. It's, it's picking it up right away. Um, and I'm going to run that speed test one more time to see if I could maybe squeeze just a little bit more. I think I was at 120 on my, on the, the previous one. And this one looks like it's going to get pretty, actually it got to 120. That's, that's actually very, very good. So if you have any kind of issues like that, 
that's pretty much what I would do. I would just I would mess with the with, with the city and the server. I would choose the closest. And of course, you know, just go down this list to see what that ping is. You know, we found one that was at 10. Um, there are some other ones that were at 13, 12, 14. So whatever you can find that works the best for you, that's the one that you're going to want to get. So I hope those tricks have, have been good to you guys. Check them out. Um, in the description below, I have a link with a crazy good deal. It's like $2 and something cents a month, which is unbelievable. Um, two bucks get the the fastest vpn possible right down there check them out with all that being said um i hope you guys are are taking care of each other if you have a different vpn service and you don't have that that protocol and and the other setting where you where you can't manipulate it then they they're just not giving you guys the options you might want to check something out something like this that will take care of you guys so with all that being said hope you guys are doing good take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys Thank you.